What if I told you chocolate doesn't start in a factory? It starts inside a fruit. Most people don't know Paulet saying chocolate starts as a fruit. Inside this pod is, is the beginning of chocolate. These seeds will soon become cocoa beans. Fermentation is where flavor begins. From here, the beans travel to a chocolate factory. This is where flavor begins, Nan. Fermentation unlocks chocolate aroma. Temperature rises naturally, creating deep chocolate notes. We monitor every degree, Chang'e. Flavor depends on precision. Turning ensures even fermentation and balanced taste. Now we reduce moisture in heat. This decides the crisp snap of chocolate. Drying transforms aroma from fruity and chocolatey. Now the beans are ready for roasting. Roasting develops the chocolate flavor profile. Temperature controls acidity, aroma, and depth. Notice the color change here. We're approaching the second crack, which is exactly what we want for this medium dark blend. This aroma is what chocolate dreams smell like. By aiming the infrared sensor directly at the window, we can confirm the temperature inside the roaster without opening the door. We check color, aroma, and crack. Cooling stops the roasting at the perfect moment. moment. This is now a cocoa nib panilla, the core of chocolate. Next, we remove the shells and isolate pure cocoa nibs. Now we crack the roasted beans to break the shell, the shells. The key is in the gentle rotation. We don't want to crush the beans, just delicately split the husk away from the nib. Airflow lifts the shells away. Only pure cocoa nibs remain. These nibs are pure chocolate taoshibo, no sugar lit. The shells are removed from frang tao. Flavor lives in the nib. Next, these nibs will turn into liquid chocolate. Grinding transforms solid nibs into liquid chocolate. These granite wheels slowly grind the nibs, transforming them into the smooth, rich liquid we use for our finest chocolate. No sugar, no milk, and I feel this is 100% in pure chocolate. It starts thick, like peanut butter. Cocoa butter gives chocolate its silky texture. We check thickness. Too thick, it won't temper correctly. 
Now we polish and perfect the chocolate. Conching smooths chocolate and removes bitterness. We run this for hours, sometimes days, to develop flavor. Acidity escapes. Flavor becomes smooth. We check the flow, order thing. Smoothness defines quality. Only now do we add sweetness after perfection. Now we make the chocolate glossy, shiny, and snappable. 